What an amazing opportunity here in Davos, that imagination and action to really sit down with thought leaders from across the globe and better understand the impact that AI will have on the world. There are many different ways, I think, of building AGI in the, in the sort of brain design space, some of which will be safe and very positive for humanity, and some which will be very negative and very dangerous. And we don't necessarily know which is which at the moment, and we have to get more information and more research on that. Because of AI, People are going to see someone truly express themselves in the moment. It's going to be soulful, but it's not going to be a soul race. Current LLMs can be unbelievably good at math, Olympiad, you know, problem solving, and yet make silly mistakes with some of the puzzles that you might give it. What is the hardest and biggest problem? Because you have this unique opportunity with AI and to solve it. And that's what like AI should be for. What a stunning set of unbelievable thinkers in this moment of AI in the world here. This event's really brought together some of the top thinkers here. We are in, at a moment in time, and the world recognizes it, and we're discussing it today. There is no question that at some point in the future, we will have systems that are as intelligent as humans in pretty much all the domains where humans are, are intelligent. The idea that somehow intelligence is kind of a linear scale is, is nonsense. The set of applications that are now possible to build with AI has suddenly expanded. What this means for a lot of businesses is, it's important to figure out what are the new things possible that hopefully you will do, or maybe more worryingly, a competitor will do, that really change the market dynamics. So what's the best part about being a president of MIT? Every single day I hear something that's jaw-dropping. We're in the very early beginnings of the AI revolution. We've seen much more breakthroughs in research than we have seen implementation. For the first time, we can achieve sub-kilometer resolution globally, which is game-changing to make climate simulations of the future more impact-relevant and useful to people. So I think about AI as ambient intelligence. Technology is good when you actually don't pay attention that it's just there. So it's going to be so well working that it's just going to help us in our day-to-day -day life, and we're just going to take it for granted.